All right, here we are. I'm going to show you my uh, whole project here of doing a conversion from a regular enclosed trailer to a uh, teardrop camper trailer is kind of what I'm, what I'm trying to do. Um, so right here we have a, it's a four foot by eight foot um, enclosed trailer. Um, it's just a small one and it has a little, you can see the rounded corner on the front. So the front nose is nice and rounded. Um, we just have the basic plain walls and just standard tires. Nothing fancy here. This is just your basic small little trailer and there's my license plate number for those stalkers who are gonna look me up. Uh, so inside, this is just a double door in the back. Inside, it's just nothing fancy. Again, it's just your standard walls, just standard construction trailer. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Uh, I picked this one up used for $1,200. New, this one's only probably $1,800 or so. Um, it, it's, it, it tows well down the road. It's got nice, it's, it's a pretty good space. It measures about, uh, four foot high and four foot wide and then eight feet long is what I'm starting out with. And I'm going to show you the whole process through as I convert this to a actual camper that we can sleep in. So from this shot, you can see that I have the window and the door completely roughed in. You can see it, it took a little bit of nice, uh, measuring and some, uh, very fine, uh, pencil marking and, and, and to get the right corners up here. But I, what I'm doing now is getting ready to rough in the, to set the windows. And you can see I've already tested this a little bit to make sure that things fit in there properly. You can see that that's what the window's gonna set in like and the door is right here with the same thing. So what I'll do, I've got my tape, my putty tape that I'm gonna use and I'll take the tape and I'll lay it right here along this lip around the door and the window and then I'll come and set it into place and then on the inside where you've got the, I've got the panels removed you can see right in there I'll be able to drill a hole and I cut windows here and the doors so that they would match perfectly inside the framework you can see the frame is on both sides so it'll be really easy for me to screw right here to hold things in place I also have some pieces of wood cut. You can see right here at the bottom of the door, I've got one. And I have another one here that'll set at the top of the door. You can see that. Most pieces of wood are going to be extra strength. I'll, uh, I've got a tube of caulk. I'll caulk it in behind there. I'll also zip a couple screws from the side here, here, and then I'll be able to screw the bottom of the door frame and the top of the door frame to that. In a little bit, I'll do the same thing over here. Now the main thing that that's going to do is that's going to keep the side from shaking as it's going down the road. You don't want that caulk to loosen up. So that's the project I'm working on today is getting the window and the doors. Okay at this stage I'm doing the uh, final caulking on the inside of the windows and you can see I'm doing a nice thick bead here around the windows so that uh, not only to hold the windows in place and keep it from leaking, but I'm doing a lot of extra caulk in there to kind of hold the, the siding in place and just to kind of hold everything together firmly. Um, so I have yet to do these windows over here. Um, I ended up uh, breaking one of my windows and had to do a, an emergency door because I didn't have the same window that I bought. So at this step, I'm just doing the final caulking and you can see I have my electrical for the air conditioning run and I'm going to put in a junction box up here for a uh, light that's going to go above the door and then I'm going to do another junction box over here where these nuts are to uh, have an electrical outlet there and then that runs all the way down there through the case completely in the wall and then it pops out right at the bottom of the trailer. So that's what this step is. Okay here's my finished project for the trailer conversion. You can see I've got windows on each side, I've got my, my skylights, the air conditioner, just gonna walk around nice and slow so you can see everything going on here. The back is still a double door setup. I have two roof vents. There's a door here. The back has double doors that open up. We, we do shows, so what we need is we still have to call, haul our cargo and everything to the show. So we want nice big open area in there in the back. But this allows us to do that and then we sleep inside it when we get to the show. So we have the, the carpet we used. You can see I can pull it up real nice and easy. It's um, the stuff that has the padding already attached to the back of the carpet. That way I can just roll this thing up real quickly and I don't have to have the carpet out if I don't want. 
um, inside. So I got windows and doors on each side. This right here, this is actually a door that's designed for a motorhome. Um, for it's it's meant to go uh, horizontally this way, but I just put it vertically and it works out just great. Took me a little while to get keys for it, but it was pretty cheap. It only cost me five dollars on eBay to get the keys. You can see right up on top here, I got two little shelves built in, and I bracketed it up here so I got a bungee cord to hold the stuff um, in there. I think one of them's about a 10 inch shelf and the other one's about a 14 inch, I believe is what's going on. Um, another great feature I got in here, I've got windows everywhere that open up here. This one right here, this cranks open and it also is duals as an emergency hatch. So you can slide the whole thing out there and it's basically another door. It's almost the size of my door on the other side. Now what this allows us to do at some shows at some shows we go to, the way I have to park, it's beneficial to have um, access to this side of the trailer and this side. So that way I got three access points to this trailer, the back door and then the other two. So my side windows here, they're really, really small. You can see the size of my hand, but they do open up and they allow us air there. And then I got a roof fence up in the top there. And of course the air conditioner. Now I also have a light above the door that I have hardwired in to where the air conditioner is wired in. I have one electrical outlet over here and all that's wired all the way through the walls and it comes out to the back of the trailer. You can see I got a plug right here hanging out the back corner of the trailer. So when I get to a place, I just plug in an extension cord, plug that in and I've got power all up through here. Um, everything's powered that way. Um, it's been an interesting project. It's taken me a lot longer than I would have expected but it, at the same time, it's pretty simple. Now, I used components uh, from an RV, RV uh, surplus store, so I only spent about $500 on the conversion, and the trailer is about $2,000. So it was a pretty cheap. And again, it's a 4 foot by 8 foot trailer with uh, the full conversion on it. So thanks for watching.